as an Aleg, I find that I have an affinity for this university, which I think I would say I would feel hardly any other institution in the world would command such, uh, such reverence from its students and its alumni. It is because of this reverence that I have for this university that I am here today. I came here as a visiting professor with the idea of giving back to my alma mater what a little fraction of what she, my alma mater has given to me. Aligarh Muslim University gave me four years of education. I'm here to give her three months of my expertise in helping the students here in engineering to become more proficient as practicing engineers when they leave the university and go out into the real world. There is a very unique aura to this university. This university has something that I believe no other university in the world has, and that is a culture of student university relations, a, a culture of developing the entire personality of the students, not just the technology or the particular subjects that are being taught. It's not just academic, it is developing your whole life. No other university in the world, I think, can approach Aligarh uh, Muslim University in this respect. This is why I hold this institution so dear to my heart, because this institution has taught me much more than engineering. It has taught me how to live. It has taught me how to face the world. It has taught me humanitarianism, and it has taught me how to treat all the other people in the world as equals. Well, what I will say is that the engineers who have come out of universities in recent years have really made a very big difference in the world. India has the fastest rate of growth of technology that the world has ever seen. The West is very advanced in technology. They have sent uh, rockets to the moon, they have sent rovers to Mars, uh, they have done all kinds of amazing things, but they have done this over a period of a long, long uh, development cycle. India has caught up with the West in a very short time. This is an accomplishment that is not to be lightly taken. Well, I will quote the last uh, two lines in our Tarana. Ye abra se uthega, ye abra and I am out in the rest of the world now. I've been out of India for 50 years, and I see this phenomena occurring actually. It's not only two lines in the Tarana anymore. It is an accomplished fact. The, the inspiration of Aligarh is now gone worldwide. Everywhere that I have seen, all the Aligarians that I have met, they have the same exact, same drive, the same attitude, and the same vision for the future. Sir Sayyid Ahmed was one of the greatest visionaries of all time. Uh, he has not been acknowledged by the rest of the world to the degree that he deserves. If he were here today, he would undoubtedly be given a Nobel Prize. And he would surpass all Nobel laureates in his achievements. He created this university from scratch, from nothing. And he did that by going from door to door, collecting funds, not only in India, but all over the world. And he set up this university first as a school, then as a college, and finally this institution became one of the greatest universities in the world today. This is not a small achievement. This is an, as an, I come from a family of educators. And as an educator, I certainly appreciate and admire this great man for what he has done. His vision, his inspiration is a shining light to all of us. And I hope that we will have 
more people like him who will take up the torch of enlightenment and carry this torch over to the point where this nation can become one of the great nations of the world. One of the things I would like to do would be to encourage all elegs all over the world to do in a bigger measure what I have done in a small measure, which is to come back to their alma mater and give back to this great university a little bit of what they got from her. I think this would be the, the greatest tribute that you can pay to your university is to come back and give to her what you got from her. Sir Sayed held education in the highest esteem. To him, education was the most important wealth a person can acquire. And education of the masses was very significant for him. I would urge all students here to remember his legacy, to remember all the sacrifices he has made, and to, first of all, to educate themselves, to be serious about their studies, to accomplish what they came here to do. And secondly, to carry this torch out to the rest of the world, to make themselves into some useful citizens, and then, to support the, the educational endeavors of this great institution and all the institutions in the country and in the world. Education is what humanity needs. Education is what is the salvation of human beings. And as a humanitarian, Sir Sayed set a shining example. Let us all follow in his path and let us make his vision come true.